We have uh, Regina. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're mixing it up a little bit today. We're standing in front of our set instead of behind it. So yes. um, somebody suggested that to us, and we were kind of like, all right, we'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. We don't mind. We like to listen to our viewers. So yeah. if you have any other suggestions, please uh, contact us on our website, Shake It Up with Karen and Regina, and we'll uh, try to accommodate your request. Well, I just want to talk about a little, for those of you joining us for the first time, Shake It Up is an acronym for style, health, health uh, attitude, attitude, kindness, and entertainment. So we're here today to bring you all those things, and we have some great guests coming up, and um, we love them. So you're yes. going to love them too. But here's where I didn't, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to stand up because Regina and I, oh. for the second time this week, ended up wearing very similar clothes, and it's a little this scary. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if we have this karma thing going on. We're, we're in our closets, and we say, okay, I'm going to wear this because Regina's not going to wear this. And then you say, you're going to wear that because Karen's not going to wear this. And then this is what happens. Totally. It, you know, it, it's just, it goes beyond. Totally. Um, you're like my sister from another mother. I That's think what so. happens. Yeah, yeah. So um, you're going to tell them the other night. So we went out the other night, and we had the exact same outfit on. No, the exact same outfit no, the, on. It, to a T. Like Black, two cups, strapless jumpsuit. And there we pants. are. We come like the walking out. Twins. We had no idea. Yeah. She gets out of a car. I was like, oh, <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? That is just not cool. I, so, felt like um, an idiot. I felt like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. We actually see a couple of women out once in a while um, in our travels that always dress the same. They do, and, and they wear like little crowns, too. Yeah, they, they wear, wear little, little crowns. And we always say, oh, God, that, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Well, now we, we think we we're becoming those people. We probably look like people. the crazy yeah. people. We, yeah. need, we need the sash, the crown, oh, and the God. outfit. Yeah. yeah, okay. Right. Just um, let's try to talk a little bit before we go out next time, perhaps. Well, okay. All right, that, that okay. would be good. But you yeah. always wear black, number one. I, I tend and you to always wear, wear black. pants, number one. Yeah, but, you know, here, so, here's why I wear black, because then I don't have to think too much about it. I can't stand having to say, does this match, does this match? I mean, I have a great black pocketbooks. I have great black shoes. Yeah, I have so, great okay, black. so my advice to you is stay with the black. We won't have this problem. I know, but I can't wear black all the time. So no, I have to, you know, I have to mix some color that's in true. there. I um, love the red dress that you wore for our first show. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was Old Navy. Yeah. But, you know, that. see, that's the thing about clothes. Like, you can actually put a Burberry scarf with an Old Navy T-shirt, and it, it could work. Mm -hmm. so well, you, you, had really good to, you had good shoes on. You had great shoes great on. Great shoes on. Great, great belts. Yeah, great belts. And an yeah, Old Navy was a dress. a Michael Kors belt with an Old Navy dress. So that's, you know, you can really mix it up. You know, and nothing has to be high-end designer um, and only high-end designer. You can definitely put pieces into your wardrobe yeah. that, you know, can accommodate pretty much everything. We're all about mixing it up. We are. We right. Are. And we mixed it up a lot last week. I'm exhausted. Let me just tell you that right now. We have been running around like crazy, but having the best time. The first event that we went to, which was a, a great event at Chateaubriand in Westbury. That was the Body was English for the, Tuesday night. Yes, for the Carol M. Baldwin Research Foundation. It was yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a great party they do there on Tuesday nights. Well, yeah, and this theme... It's beautiful. This theme was Pink Cirque de Soleil, and what it did was it raised money for breast cancer, bring awareness to breast cancer. We met some really cool people. Yes, we did. We actually, we actually mingled met with the celebrities, too, we which were, was we fun. We were rubbing elbows with Hollywood over yes, there. Yes, yes. Our friend Janine, you know, put us in the VIP area, although um, I don't know if we can really justify that, but... 
It was great. I I'll mean, take it. We had a good time. <laughs> um, I'll we take were in it. the Moet Chandon room. Oh, so my goodness. It was had, beautiful. Um, it was you know, great. Beautiful champagne and a uh, great crowd and took a lot of paparazzi pictures, which was yes, fun. Yes, yes. We saw yeah. our friend Lydia there. We saw a lot oh, of yeah. a lot of, a lot of our friends great. that have other shows as well. So that was fun to catch up with them. And but it's they such a really do. atmosphere. I was just going to say, yeah. they really do a phenomenal job there. I mean, like, the place is gorgeous. You don't realize where you are when no. you're walking around there. It's like exactly. you have no idea where you it's are. It's like you're in this tropical oasis yeah. with the, you know, beautiful white furniture and the blue lights and the gorgeous people that work for them. I, and then I love the, that. the performers. Oh, yeah. They, they were, were incredible. Yeah. I mean, it was really a lot and of fun. And that happens every Tuesday night, just so you know. They do oh, that's a different right. every theme Tuesday. every Tuesday oh, night. Oh, it's different party. every Tuesday it's night. It's different every Tuesday night. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, great. They have all different kinds of parties. So if you go on their website, um, Body English Tuesdays, you can find all that information. Yeah, and there's so, a lot of beautiful people there, I tell you. Yeah, oh, yeah. I yeah. tell you. Well, our, we, we had brought a step our, husbands. our game. Wait, we brought yeah. our husbands. Oh, yeah. And um, there was a lot of that um, gorgeous 20 something year old yes. in the, you know, cut out dresses with the big, you know, babambers. And um, <laughs> they literally were like. Babambers. She's trying not to get in the curse job. That's what she's, <laughs> she's working really <laughs> hard. It's cost me a lot of money yes, so far. Yes, Although I have to, I owe you 10 bucks that's from last right, week. That's right, you do. Yeah, that's right. For you. ballsy. I don't even understand how that's a curse word, but whatever. All right, listen, don't be bitchy. Oh, another 10. Ma, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are killing me here. You know, it all goes to a good cause. Actually, this that's jar true. is going to go to the Carol M. Bolden Breast Cancer that's Research correct. Fund. Um, that's what we're going to be doing all summer for them there. They end their campaign in October with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so uh, we'd be happy to contribute all that we can. We do a lot of work with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were trying to coordinate with uh, Danny Baldwin to get on the show, but, you know, unfortunately his s schedule. Well, that's because the day he's he gonna be, premieres his show. He right. premieres his show at and Malloy And he's going to be on Matt Lauer and something else, yeah. and then he has the premiere at uh, yeah. Malloy College well, we'll on see. Wednesday. We'll, so we'll try to tape something with him yeah. a little bit earlier. Maybe so we could do that. We can get him on, but... Um, we did talk to him about it, and he is excited. He's premiering his film that um, is has been nominated for um, an award at Malloy College in Farmingdale on July 30th, and mm -hmm. that's um, the Long Island Film Festival. So we're excited that he's going to be mm -hmm. there, and hopefully we can get a chance to have him on for a little bit. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah. But back to the husbands at the Body uh, English event. They were thrilled. I'm telling you, these two did not know where to look first. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. And they're oh, like, yeah. look, oh, oh, oh. And then I see them they're looking at each other. It was hilarious. Yeah. And Karen and I, we go to a lot of events. So we're like pretty much oblivious to a lot of we things. We see like, this every day. It's yeah, like normal. It's Plus just, in the beauty industry, you see that. And yes. the salons. It's like a day in the work, a, work in, a normal day in work yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's not something. A day in the life. Day in the life. Day right, in the exactly. life Karen Regina. It's not yeah. something that we really, but they were, <laughs> and they were like, this goes on every Tuesday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we doing next Tuesday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we um, get in again? VIP. How we, I go, no, 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 no. You can't right. get yeah. in. Only with us you can get VIP. You can't go by yourself. Yeah, no. Um, right. Well, we actually dragged them out for pretty much every night last week, but their favorite was when we went to Volpe <gasps> Restaurant. Oh, We took them um, to meet two of our guests today, um, Chef Antonio and Vicky from Volpe, Fox Hollow, and the Scotto Brothers. And, well, you had to see how happy they were. Because no. we never normally take them with us to places like this, but we decided, you know, because, first of all, they love to eat probably about just as much as we do, um, we figured we would take them along and, and have them experience it mm -hmm. as well. And, well, it was... No, our, our reservation was at 6.30. Yeah. And I think we left there at 11 o'clock. Yeah, it was, if, it if was I remember, because I had a couple a marathon of one too too of many, but the, some of the best food I've ever had in my oh entire my life. goodness, and it was yeah. like it, I'm glad that they came because it was such a family affair. Like yeah, when it really you, was. I just felt that you really have to go there. It's such a warm and inviting atmosphere, and I love the music in the background. We know. I actually yeah. have a video of it on my Facebook page, and she's singing along with this professional musician who sounds phenomenal. He's got a great it. voice, and there's Regina in the background screaming, squawking like, away, oh, squawking away. My God. If I could only sing. This poor man. Seriously. Yeah. I know every word yeah, to every song, sing. but I can't sing. Yeah, so you just you were like, telling me to sing. Well, no, no, no. I was saying, okay, go, girl, because yeah. I was trying to encourage you because you were doing it. So at that point, you should have been do? like, drag you off. You should have uh, been like, uh, sit I, down. I support you, Regina. Whatever you want to do. All your dreams. Making a fool of myself. Well, hey, <laughs> comes with the territory. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know about just that. Just something you but do. But it was a night, really a night to remember. I mean, the food that we had was yeah. incredible. I just uh, recently came back I think from I'm Italy. Still full. Like I, I yeah. literally um, 
had to diet after that night because I ate probably more calories just from the 17 courses that kept coming than I would normally all week. Right. But yeah. you know but what I, I loved about myself? I was like, this is delicious. This is what delicious. What I loved about what we ate too, that everything was fresh. So oh, it's yeah. not like, that's like a different thing. When, you can, when you're eating, but that's why you, you can, can eat, eat a lot. 17 courses. Yes. And not, you and know, not feel right. sick. But the next day, you know, I wake up, I was like, oh, what happened to my cleanse? I'm yeah. going to have to cleanse. <laughs> yeah. I needed an alcohol cleanse oh, after that day. I but. probably gained five pounds, but it's, I'm okay with that. You right. know what I mean? It was totally worth it. Well, for me, it was so such a special treat because I just actually came back from Italy, and I came back from the very town that the chef was born in, which is in Caserta, which is in, in Naples. And when I sat down at that table, and those pl those first appetizer plates came out and everything, I mean, I just my heart was like pitter pattering. Put you right back. I felt so into the region again. Like if yeah. you want a little taste or a trip to Italy, and especially that beautiful region of Naples. You really should go to that restaurant. I mean, it was just incredible. And again, the quality of the food that they serve there, it's outstanding. You're going to go really back is. soon, right? Yes, I'm yeah. definitely going back. At, yeah. Actually, and I'm going to have them. you'll bring me. Yes. Okay. You know yes. what she said to me? I'm just going to interrupt you for a second. Because you know what she said to me this week? <laughs> I know this girl said. had the nerve to tell me, oh, yes. I need a vacation. I do. I said, <laughs> are you kidding me? I said, first of all, you just left me for 16 days. You are not leaving again because then everything falls on Karen. Um, and she needed a vacation. I'm like, that's oh, a joke in here. No, the answer is no. Unless I'm coming with you. Yeah, you can come no. with me anytime. Yes, no. good. But I do. I like vacations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like you are not I, going anywhere. I like vacations. Yeah, I like, no. And I like designing my life around vacations. You I know, do. You know, listen, I, I, I try to vacation four times a year. I think it's important. You know, we work very hard. When we are, you know, here in our yes, mode, we do. you know, during the week and on the weekends with families and, you know, it's a lot. So, you know, every quarter or so I like to get away, even if it's just for a couple of days or a full week or, you know, sometimes more. Um, I think it's important. I, I totally agree. We like give a hundred. group. Yeah, we go, we go a hundred. When we go, we go. When yeah. then, but yeah. see me, when I'm down, I want to just chill out. Yeah, yeah. Chill out. I could lay at a beach for, you know, three weeks and have no yeah, problem with that. I love being yeah. quiet. I yeah. can't wait to get to See, the but Italy, it's a lot of walking around. It's a lot of traveling. It's not the most relaxing thing. It's kind of like Disneyland. Like, Disney World and me don't really mix because then I feel like I need a vacation from my vacation. <laughs> Did you ever go to Disney World? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's like in fact, I'm going and in <laughs> It's a job. <laughs> I'm going in September. <laughs> yeah. I I'm going with my cousin and her, Joy and Rachel. I'm going in, and Jody in December. I used to bring, you know, of course, my daughter. And then one time I brought my two nephews too so it was three kids my husband and I and literally I thought I was gonna you know jump off a bridge mm -hmm. they did not shut up from the second we got on the plane to the second we got off the plane well it's also then, a lot of scheduling you have to uh, see everything you have to do everything like that listen yeah, I love no being relaxation. in Italy but we had we were on the go yeah. we yeah. were on the go and we were t you know going here going to see this going that and then yeah. we also stayed at my friend's vineyard right which is uh, Vino Alois which is incredible wines and and That's the vineyard a vacation. Is, that's a trip. Yes, but I wanted to just... Put me in a vineyard. Yeah. Put me on a beach. I wanted to stay just there mm -hmm. and no move. You yeah. understand in Italian? No move. Yeah. But we had to go <laughs> here. Funny. We had to go there. We had to see this. We had to see that. So yeah. it, w it was a lot going on. And so that's why I say I need a little vacation. But I feel like I got a little taste of that when I was on... Uh, out to dinner on Wednesday night. Well, you know, uh, Chris and I, my husband and I, did experience Europe in one of the best ways possible, and that is we did about, you know, six different countries on a boat for three weeks or so. And, That's awesome. Um, That's a great way. We spent a lot of time, though, in Italy, and we did the Naples, Capri, you know, Sicily, Rome, Tuscany. Gorgeous. It was just, honestly, I could live there. I, I could pack it up and move. Oh, it's gorgeous. Would Madhouse TV come with us? Sure. Okay. Sure. In fact, well, Madhouse TV, yeah, yeah. they just came back from, let me tell you, these guys they hustle get around. like you have no idea. Mm -hmm. They just came back from Canada or Detroit. Where, where was it? Windsor, no, they were Canada. In Canada. Windsor, yeah. Canada. And they did this entire blues festival, which was incredible. Really I mean, was. you should really check out some of the videos. It was a three-day event. I mean, and they literally did not stop. They packed up this whole kit and caboodle. They looked like got they in the van so much and drove fun. there. Did yeah. you see the Facebook pictures? Yep. I mean, oh, I totally I did. I was laughing almost every I single totally day. Did. It was hysterical. Yeah, they know how to party. They I'll do. tell you that. They do. Who was up in the cherry picker? Was that oh, you? Oh yeah, I saw yeah. that. He was yeah, all Tommy. the way up with the yeah. camera. I mean, they they yeah. spared no expense at getting the great shots. It looked in. like they had some great musicians there. I mean, I was on the site and you know checking it out, and really, really cool music. Oh, it was great, and the quality of the sound—it's incredible. Yeah. It's yeah. like watching a concert. 
Totally. Yeah, it's well, great. Well, speaking of music, Jay, who, Jay Nova, who has a show on this. Oh, yes. Hi, channel. Jay. Well, hi, Jay. Nice to see you. Um, we uh, definitely want to have him on our show. Yes, we do. We He's got a really rocking show. Yeah, we met with him last week, and, and we definitely would bring him on. He's got so much depth to him. He's a wonderful man and so creative. So um, we're going to bring him to you guys at some point in the near future. But if, in the meantime, you can check his show out right on Madhouse TV. Yes. Um, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to come yes. back with Chef Antonio and Vicky from Volpe and Fox Hollow and just talk a little bit about Scotto Brothers. See you in a few. Bye. My name is Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel, we treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. Find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy. Please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Hi everyone, welcome back. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Um, it was an interesting first 15 minutes. We kind of didn't really stop talking, but um, now we can actually focus. I know, and I'm not chewing gum anymore, so that's good. Right, true. Um, but we have some really great guests here with us here today. Um, first off, I'd like to introduce um, Chef Antonio. He's yes. here with us. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you. It's good good morning. to be here. Yes, Chef in Chef Antonio Sinicola is from Volpe Restaurant in Woodbury. It's part of the Fox Hollow um, estate. And um, with him as well is Vicky Kolachenko. Kolachenko. Yeah. Kolachenko. <laughs> and she's the marketing and, and promotions director for all of Scotto yeah, Brothers. Marketing director and business development manager. 
manager. Business development yeah. manager. Well, so, we got the Italians representing so, today. I, I like know, that. I know. I like Vito, it. Vito, Galli, yes. Nicola, uh, <laughs> Beautiful. Cola Cinco. Cola Cinco. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like this, this is a real Italian show. I love it. We like it. I love it. I know. We're like a bunch of guidos here. <laughs> discussing uh, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday well, afternoon lunch. You know, I'm partial to the Italians. So yeah, what can well, I say? me too, of course. What could I say? I married one. I mean, and my mom's yes. one. Yes. So, oh, that's yeah. nice. Um, so really, um, you know, as we mentioned earlier in the show, you treated us to just such a Thank wonderful meal. Um, the courses went on and on and on, and from one dish to the next, they were the most delicious food that I've had in a very, okay, very long time. World. Thank you. Um, fresh quality and just the taste and the flavors just were wonderful. How did the Volpe restaurant concept come about? Well, in the beginning... I can remember Tony Scarlett saying that he just cared about quality food. He, he didn't care about expense. In the middle of that conversation, I realized that for this, this man, it's an addiction. He just cares about quality. Right. So I made it a mission to really take Volpe to a level that we're not your typical Italian restaurant. Not, yeah, at all. not by at any all. means. Right. True. Where there's many great ones out there, but there's not anyone like Volpe. Right. You're not going to find chicken parmesan and, yeah. you know, Unless that someone requests kind of it. If they request, I'll make it for you. will make anything. Yeah, because I'm I, sure. they need to be happy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's it's about quality. Right. So we get fish, proteins, like uh, meat, chicken, every day. Mm -hmm. Produce every day. And the recipes are authentic Italian. <laughs> They're from you. Yes. And, yeah. and Italian by birth. You can't get better than that, right? That's right. So at the end of the day, the, the menu is developed and the restaurant is developed where it's true Italian food from or parts of Italy, really, mm -hmm. uh, and it's authentic, and it's got a twist to it. It definitely does because there, nothing that we ate was basic. Right. Everything had a little bit of something that I've never seen before. Each and every dish was had that uniqueness to it, and um, again, just was absolutely Thank fabulous. You. It's our pleasure. Thank you. So, um, you know, speaking of the the region that you're from in Italy, tell us a little bit about that region. I mean, I I know Regina's very familiar with it. I'm not. So I'd like uh, to hear a little more. Uh, she didn't bring me on this trip with her, but uh, <laughs> next time. She was, She's killing was, me was, every that second. That was exploratory. <laughs> right. Now that we found yes. it safe to go, we can all go. That's right. 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 That's right. Yeah, she no, checked but it out remember, remember when we came to see you guys before yes. that we actually, t today's show, yes. we came to just do a, yeah. you know, a light interview and, and, and see you know if you were interested in doing the show and everything. And you and I started talking, and I says, I'm going to Italy. And you were explaining to me, oh, there's a certain area, this certain spot, blah, blah, blah. And then you said to me, and there's a winery there. Yes. And it's A yes. L and we're spelling it out. Yeah. And we're like, Alois? Yes. And that's exactly where uh, Chef Antonio is from. Literally down the block from where I stayed. Yeah. And it's about um, a quarter of a mile, really. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it, it was amazing because we just started out just regular talk and then the next thing you know you talk about your trip. And I was envious because Caserta's got a lot to offer. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the winery that Massimo and Luigi, yes. they just, I met them six years ago, and I still buy their wines today. Mm -hmm. it, b because it's not, uh, it's not pretentious. No. It's just great socially, great with food, uh, and they're wonderful people. Yes. Now, are those wines available here? Yes, they are. And yes. they're available in your restaurant? Uh, they will be. Okay, we, fabulous. They will be very, very soon. Okay, terrific. Um, We're trying to make that all happen. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I remember you had had me sample some, and it was phenomenal. Yes. So I really... Yes can appreciate good wine. My husband actually has a wine closet and he, you know, stores like perfectly good temperature wines all year long in right. it. And, uh, you know, he's a he Italian. taught me a lot about wine. <laughs> so, yeah. No, but Caserta, Caserta itself, <coughs> it, it's, it's not the true roots of Italy, but the region has, has not changed. The recipes, the style of doing things has not changed. Mm -hmm. um, everything from fresh buffalo mozzarella to the Tzamarzano tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, to their fresh pastas, which is incredible. Oh. And they regatta, and regatta saladas, mm -hmm. and uh, mascarpone. But uh, for Caserta, it doesn't end. No. But in general, Italy it, it, as a whole doesn't end. Right. right. But you know what I noticed, too? Even when you go to different regions in Italy, everybody, even other Italians say, you can only get this in Caserta. And I'm like, right. well, meanwhile, I'm in Florence, and yeah. they're telling me that. <laughs> or I'm in Rome, and they're like, you know... This, this is not Caserta. like Caserta. Right. And I said, wow, so that region, especially with the buffalo mozzarella and, and the tomatoes, it's like it's known for that. And right. that's like two of my favorites. Just with fresh basil, that, and wine, I could be there Simplicity. for five hours. Yeah. Simplicity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's, that's what I loved about what you served yeah. us that night. Volpe is pure simplicity, but elegance. Oh, finale. True, true finale. True elegance. And the real taste of what Italian food should be. Right. Um, and very rarely do I, do I do go out to eat, and when I do, I'm very picky. Right. Because mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm willing to pay for it, but sure. don't advertise it, and then not give it to me. Mm -hmm. Don't print it, and then not give it to me. Well, kind of that brings up the yeah. whole thing about um, fresh fish. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, and you were telling us a little bit about that. I'd love for you to share that information, because I think it's so important. I, I think when somebody orders fresh fish of the day kind of thing, they have this concept that it was just, you know, yeah. caught off a boat somewhere. But that's not necessarily so, is it? No. It, in, in, in our industry, there's a law called truth in menus. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to state fresh fish, then it needs to be fresh, not prepackaged or refresh or an IQF, which is individually quality frozen. Right. There's a lot of it out there. Of course. So as a chef, I pick vendors that know what I expect, know the needs of the restaurant over a course of time, mm -hmm. and have a great vendor relationship. Mm hmm um, and communicate with them consistently. Mm -hmm. So at Volpe, or even at the Fox Hollow for that matter, everything we do, we do from scratch, fresh. Right. Whether it's Volpe So even or, with the catering. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you're, absolutely. you're having your wedding there, but you're having like an executive chef plan your menu. Yes. Yeah. I mean, exactly. that's outs I mean, it's not yeah. catering food no, at it's all. Definitely not. And neither is Volpe. Volpe is a la carte. Right, yeah. So uh, there's, there's things about line court, which means like a fisherman literally went out, caught it, fishing line, it comes in with a tag. But that comes with a premium. And then you get your farmed. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of uh, DEC rules and regulations have created these, what they call farmed fish. But, but, but to, to sustain the, our industry and, and uh, supermarkets and whatever. Sure. But as far as the farmed fish goes, it, a lot of it is from the North and Mediterranean. America is still not at its peak yet. They're still developing it. It's come a long way, and it's getting better. But uh, you order Branzini, and you say, well, it's Mediterranean. Yes, it is, farmed in the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. where quality is there. Uh, as far as IQF frozen or fish that have what they call BHT, where shrimp and scallops, uh, most of it, or some of it, I should say, is soaked in the liquid called BHT. Mm -hmm. So when you get home... What is BHT? Um, the scientific name of it, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. But what it is is they take the uh, shrimp. It's a chemical. Scallop, basically. Okay. Bottom line, and they soak tons of this stuff, of uh, fish and scallop in this BHT, and it swells it, and then they freeze it, package it, and send it on its merry way. Here you want out the consumer, or as a chef, or as a cook, you defrost it, and, and which is wrong. So big difference between fresh and frozen. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then you go to cook it. And you get a puddle of grayish blue water. Yes. And people that don't know say, well, I've that's seen the that. ocean. I, I always, you know, that's happened to me at home. You know, yeah. you go to the supermarket, you're buying something, whatever you bring home. And then I'm like, is it bad? Like, did yeah. the fish go bad? Like, where yeah. is that gray yeah, water is coming that? from yeah. and what is it? Yeah. So now I know what it is, and now that's not yeah. going to happen yeah. at my yeah. table. <laughs> well, no. So I'm great that I yeah. learned. I'm happy that I learned that and from you. Th there's a new word called refresh, which mm -hmm. means it's been frozen, packaged, and they rehydrated it. You know, oh, this is the thing. Then that doesn't sound very good either. Oh, no, because yeah. fish is very delicate. Sure. And the flesh has an X amount of flavor. So if you buy fresh and you buy quality, all the flavor is there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little this, little that. Pinch of love and you have a beautiful you know, plate. Yes. Again, back to Volpe. And that's what Volpe is designed for. Sure. A romantic dinner or a business outing or whatever. It, it, but it encompasses all of that. And it all starts with fresh fish, fresh meat. I only use Angus, yeah. period. Mm -hmm. I've dry aged on the menu, but a steak lover will know the difference between a dry age and an Angus. Mm -hmm. right. But it's printed, dry age and Angus. Mm -hmm. So that's Certified. the truth in menus. That truth comes back to the Well, what about menus. the melon? Oh. I mean. Or the cavallon, yeah. yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. Best that melon, it's, like, it's incredible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know? And, and that's from a region, a specific region? Where, where is that well, from? Well, originally from France. The okay. Cavallon is originally from France. Okay. But we're able to get it here in the United States. You are? I've never seen it. Is it available to the regular consumer? I'm not sure if it is, unless it's a specialty market. You right. might find it. Right. So but we just have to go to Volpe to eat it. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> we're trying to corner the market here. You know? Right. Yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> I, like but I have no problem going there to eat it. <laughs> yeah, no. No problem. I hear you. And I have no problem feeding it. Yes, it was amazing. Hey, thank you. And 
the cavallon melon, we buy it because of the flavor, the juiciness, and the real flavor of what a melon should be. Yeah. But we pay a premium for that. Right, sure. But if you can appreciate it, then what's the difference? Oh, once you taste it, it's just like wine or something else. When you taste something yes. that's of yeah. a high quality product, yes. it could be food, it could be wine, yeah. anything like that. You taste it and you're like, there's a difference. Yeah. You there's know a it big right difference away. And Absolutely. You, can taste it. Yeah. you can see it visually most of the time. You know? Although it's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the color, it's the not texture. Orange, cardboard or yeah, no. Right. It's no. There. It's not it's, like a rock. Right. Yeah, it's, it's like oozing its natural juices. Sure. Yeah. It's true. Sure. Okay. And, but that's what Volpe is. So you can go there and get some of the classics, if you like, mm -hmm. and some of the more modern Italian foods, and say, wow, this is really not an Italian restaurant, but this is Italian food. Right. The ingredients are indigenous to that. Tony Scotto wouldn't have it any other way. Right. His family. And you know what else I loved about the restaurant, too, is I love the, um, the vibe, the ambiance of the restaurant. I thought it was great. Like, there, were, um, there was a man at the bar having a martini and having dinner. He was alone. Yeah. So you could go in there and have, like, a, a really quality meal by yourself, have a, have a martini, have a nice drink. And a nice and, atmosphere. And that's, exactly. and that's yeah. you know, his experience. And then, you know, we were obviously, you know, a lot of fun and loud. Yeah, so and, you know, <laughs> yeah, I think we scared people away. Yeah, we scared I people away. Like, oh, can we go in the other room? Yes, that's uh, okay. No, no, they were, we were the entertainer. Oh, you had a line looking for autographs. Oh, uh -huh. you're so sweet. You're so sweet. But, no, it also had the music, which was great. They had the piano player there, which was he playing. He was fabulous, too. He was awesome. And he yeah. played everything from, you know, um, ballads to he played Stairway to Heaven. I mean, he totally catered to the whole crowd. I would have so him in here just to, like, you know, play yeah, for us. Yeah, maybe he you know what, maybe what he could do is take us to commercial, the piano player. He could teach player. me to <laughs> sing. Well, virtually, uh, you know, no, but what I, him down I just to wanted here. to say, though, whatever you you want to do, like if you want to have the romantic dinner, you can. If you exactly. want to eat by yourself, you can. If you want to go with a bunch of friends exactly. and have drinks and hang out, it's that kind of... Or you can have your anything. wedding or party there because that's yes. what we're going to talk about when we come back. We're going to yes. talk all about um, the Fox Hollow and their different facilities as well as their ability to um, become a destination wedding. We'll be back. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and Ron Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. 
The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. Um, again, we're here today um, with Vicky Colachico, and then, um, of course, you just met Chef Antonio from Volpe Restaurant. I'd like to talk to you a little bit, Vicky, about, um, you know, how long have you been with the Scotter Brothers? What made you jump on board with them? Sure. I've been with the company for a little bit over four years now, and um, I don't know what brought me to interview with them, but um, the interview went successful, mm -hmm. and... Uh, here I am. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's really a family business. It so is. it's, you know, I'm assuming it, they don't have enough family to fill all the positions. So that's right. when they reach out to professionals to kind of, you know, fill that board. Correct. But I know that there are, how many how many family members are in the company? Uh, well, each facility has a family member involved. So okay. there are several within. So, I mean, collectively, about 20 or so. Wow. And, and that? growing. That's a big growing. growing. That's yeah. a big Italian family. <laughs> and how did, they, how did they get started? Like they started out. Sure. Well, um, Tony and his brothers and um, sister came from Italy and they worked in their uncle's pizzeria in uh, Brooklyn. From a pizzeria. Correct. So they worked over there wow. and then they saved up enough money and then they opened up the Scotto's Pizzeria in Port Washington. Mm -hmm. and oh, you know, I remember Scotto's Pizzeria. Yeah. I grew up in Roslyn. So, yeah, yeah I remember so that So that, that was their first uh Restaurant, and then from there they saved up more money, and they uh, purchased from Bart um, Bart Backrack. They purchased Chateaubriand, so that was their first catering facility. Oh, Bart ba oh, oh, I remember oh. that now. Look yeah. at that. Okay, yeah, wow. We're dating ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, from there, then they uh, purchased Westbury Manor and Fox Hollow, and then. Tony has his own um, restaurants and another catering facility on the island on his own. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the business is, is tremendous. vast. Tremendous. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And they're uh, leaders in the hospitality industry, I, I believe. Absolutely. Um, in setting the, tr the setting the standard and trends. Absolutely. Now, is, is Volpe the only restaurant you have within your catering facilities? Yes. Okay. So that's, that's that did have a restaurant then. years ago, but they closed it since. Okay. And so that is the only restaurant at our catering facilities currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's doing phenomenal because, you know, every time yeah. uh, we you. stop in there, there's Thank tons you. of people. And yeah. now this is attached to um, your ho new hotel. It is. Well, adventure. the Fox Hollow is an estate, if you would, uh, on the Gold Coast of Long Island in Woodbury. And it's eight private acres. And oh. on that estate, you have That's the nice. catering facility. It is. It's, I mean, you would never know it. But, but what was it? Was it always called the Fox Hollow? What's the history yeah. of that? Yeah, it's always been the Fox Hollow. And we, when we purchased it, we kept it. And, um, you know, we inherited the, um, the restaurant with it. But mm -hmm. the, the hotel, which is adjacent to the catering facility, was built and uh, opened in 2002. Oh, so okay. it's still very young uh, compared to the catering facility next door. But the estate as a whole is a real destination on Long Island. So you could have your events, you can go there for uh, a, a staycation, you could have your wedding there and have all your wedding guests stay with you. So it's it's really uh, I heard the rooms are gorgeous. Like they're they all are. suites or they're how sweet. is that? Yeah, yeah. I heard they're room, just incredible. Beautiful. Yes. The uh, Inn at Fox Hollow is a boutique hotel and every room is a suite in that it has a kitchen. So um, guests are able to stay for a long period of time mm -hmm. if they need it, whether they um, are in the transition from moving or uh, mm -hmm. have God forbid, a fire or what have you, or even just for the night. Um, right. We, you know, we're not uh, extended stay 100%. We're about 20%, 30% extended stay. But then the rest is, you know, we have weddings, corporate business during the week. Um, and what's really beautiful about the property is that we um, offer a lot of complimentary services and amenities. So it's, it's a real unique experience. Mm -hmm. You get a complimentary breakfast with your stay every day. That's really great. It's extensive. It's not just, you know, waffles and, and fruit. It's, oh, I can imagine. I mean, they... <laughs> I can have a full shaman. I can yeah. imagine. If you know right. Scott Brothers Cuisine, yes. that's yes. what yes. you're getting. It's, yes. it's extensive. So 
Uh, we do that every day, and um, then Monday through Thursday nights, guests get dinner as well. And again, it's a full wow. spread, so uh, it's really beautiful. That's now, is so dinner awesome. served at the restaurant, or is the restaurant like in within the hotel? Within the hotel, they have what they call the hearth room. So okay. when you walk into the hotel, you go through the main lobby, there's a big area with tables, and that's where people dine. Mm -hmm. And then they have the buffet nice. area to the it's Now, do you get yeah. people that, um, you know, snow, snowbirds that actually do extended stay there? We do, I can yes. imagine that. Like, when you oh, imagine right. staying, sure. spending, yeah. you know, Instead three, four weeks here. a house here. in Long Island. But yeah, or having yeah. a house guest yeah. stay with you. You could oh. set them oh. up. Yeah, oh. they arrive in, like, I April, May, and then they leave in October. So give us a call. Yeah, yeah. I but you get a lot, get a lot of people so that do. do that. I can yeah, imagine that, do. right? Do yeah. they come year after year? They do, yeah. That's adorable. Yeah. I could totally they see friends, that. So. Yeah. Well, once you yeah. go there and you really see, you know, when you drive in and you really see the quality of the property and just everything, it's so lush and beautiful. Yeah. You have no idea that you're it's very where you grand. are. It yeah. And it's close you to have, everything. It's feeling. Yeah. Well, it's right Brandness. off the 135 yeah. on Jericho, so right. it's very convenient. Right. And, um, again, with the catering facility next door, we cater to a lot of weddings and events, particularly during the week. We have corporate events. So, you know, the, they'll have their guests or their corporate clients stay in the hotel and they'll go next door for the big meetings and works out really well. And then also on the, on the weekend with the weddings, you know, what better to have, to not have, know, to, not drive have to go home anywhere from a fun exactly. wedding, yeah. but just so. walk next door. And you can so. have your rehearsal dinner in the restaurant and you can have an, uh, we, we call an after party in the vintage uh, wine bar so and lounge like at the hotel. Full service. Full service. And now you handle, chef, you handle all the catering for that facility? All the catering and, or, and overlook the hotel as well. Holy cow, that's a big job. How many people actually work under you? On any oh. given day, it, uh, I would say about 40, wow. 45. Wow, that's a lot of people to control. But they're, but they're all quality people. The yeah. culinarians are really second to none. So. Well, yeah, I mean, if you set the standards and then they'll exactly. follow, Exactly. that's how that works, exactly. right? They, yeah. they have Giuseppe and Domenico that are just incredible people. Mm -hmm. um, and they help me out a lot as well. A good right hand. Sure, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome that you have those people. I mean, you need to support my, actually, my assistant just quit yesterday, <clears throat> not to mention names, but um, <laughs> oh, she, I'm telling you, I'm she is over. on a roll today. Uh, but it is, it's hard to be able to get quality employees that follow your lead and learn from you yeah. know, your standards, they have to care. which True. is important. They just yeah. have to care. But yeah. you, you know, you also put a lot of time and effort into, you know, getting them to see the, get the kitchen from your vision. You know, and I tell us a little bit about what goes into that when you take over. I mean, because this is a vast, this is a huge a major operation. Yeah. Right. You know, and you're responsible for, you know, everything. You know, either someone's great dinner that night or their wedding, you know, which is the most important day to them. So how do you prepare for that? I, I try to teach or at least try to uh, explain to the cooks and the culinary team in general. As far as the wedding goes, I, we have one chance to do it right. Mm. It's a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. So our, yeah. our, our part of it, and that experience of it, is just to give them great quality food consistently. Uh, Volpe is an a la carte. So uh, we have constant changes in our menu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it seasonal too? Yes, based absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. But I don't ask them to believe the way I believe. Right. Because you're human. Mm -hmm. I just ask you to understand what I believe. And what it, you want. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if we're buying quality, then why can't you not take care of that? Mm -hmm. Put it on the plate properly. It's it's our job for you to leave just as happy, if not happier. Mm -hmm. You must get those crazy bridezillas, though, every now and then, no? No, uh, good food always takes care of it. The oh, you're so, <laughs> you're so good. You're so good. No, but it's the truth. The, the, Women the are crazy, it, though. No, it's called nervous energy. Oh, yes. Yeah, but you know he's very calming. calming. That's what that is. Yeah, charming. he's very calming. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, you know, when you're talking to him, you know that you're in good hands. So sure. a lot of that like nervousness yeah. about like food does, or it, any it of the service. Relax, yeah. And if you've ever been to a, a, a Scotto experience, I'll say sure. that. I mean, their service is off the charts. Yes. I just went to. Uh, we were just talking Rare earlier. 650. Rare six fifty on uh, Sunday for an engagement party. Uh huh. Unbelievable. You I mean. It. Yeah. Incredible, but the sir, I mean, the food is to die for. I mean, the the quality and everything was amazing, but the service was just impeccable. I mean, I really felt like they like got your bio when you walked in. Like, this is Karen, well, I mean, yeah. I think and she likes knows. to drink prosecco. She sneaks outside for cigarettes, and she. Hey. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> really? I feel like they got your bio. Listen, it's she. I'm going to make her quit soon. So write in and tell me how much you want Karen to quit smoking. Okay. She's my friend, and I don't want her to smoke. Listen. But anyway, um, there's I feel a like things I'd like you to quit, too. <laughs> but we'll get to that in another oh, time. It'll be, it'll be talking. <laughs> then we won't have a show. We won't have a show. <laughs> okay, back to our guests. But no, they real, it feels like they, they really know their yeah. guests from the get-go. It's incredible. So how do you, are you are more, it's who does the hiring for, the, for, the, for the, the wait staff and everything else? How do they come across, what's the interview process? Well, the managers of each facility are responsible for hiring uh, the staff who works for them, but right. there's a level of service and quality that's expected from each individual who works for the company. And mm -hmm. Tony Scott is very involved in, in the everyday operations. I mean, he's at the facilities every day. Really? And, yeah. And See, you know, a man of his stature, I would think he'd be on a beach somewhere. But it's but not no, intimidating. He's, he's a very yeah. down-to-earth man, and he right. he just lets you know what he expects. Mm -hmm. And and it's so it's uh, very well received, mm -hmm. and you just want to work harder for this man because mm -hmm. he's just such a wonderful person. Sure. So um, talk about hands on. That's yes. definitely. Well, you yeah. said what did you say? Obsessive. He's no, obsessed. It's, no, no, it's an addiction. It's, it's an, an addiction. addiction. Mm -hmm. food, food is his addiction. Yeah. It, it, and he he just cares about quality. Yeah. Right. It's just that simple. Yeah. And you obviously can't put in a menu what's out of season or out of market. And when I see a menu that says market price, mm -hmm. for me it's a turn off. Mm -hmm. Be because if you're that concerned about buying it, producing it, and selling it, and maybe the guests don't want it or don't want to pay for that, then why, why have it on that? the menu? Exactly. Yeah. Do, do something that's more, that's let's say, I never understand that sustainability. Price. Right. Sure. And sure. there's a lot of stuff out there that, they, that a chef can do. Mm -hmm. And Tony Scott has never, ever asked to compromise uh, quality, ever. No. Now, let me ask well, you I a question. Let me just, yeah. you know, because this always confuses me. I know that there are certain foods, like, for example, um, king crab leg, yes. that have to come frozen. So I want to talk about how, how to get the best of those kind of ingredients. And um, we're going to be back, and we're going to finish up with uh, Vicki and Chef Antonio. See you in a bit. That's it. Technical Worldwide Tattoo Supply is one of the largest suppliers in the world and your number one resource for top quality, affordable tattoo and piercing supplies. Technical Worldwide Tattoo Supply is the number one supplier of tattoo inks in the world with more than 200 products including Mom's Ink, Philadelphia Eddie's Traditional Inks, Paolini Sacred Color Inks and more. Technical Worldwide Tattoo Supply, your one-stop shopping destination for great service, best prices and top quality supplies. Coney Island Carlos Vintage Wines and Premium Spirits are undeniably distinctive. Selected for their unique, memorable flavor, Coney Island Carlos Vintage Wines and Premium Spirits are delivered to you in beautifully designed bottles featuring limited edition artwork. Coney Island Carlos Vintage Wines and Premium Spirits are available at affordable prices in fine restaurants, bars, and liquor stores. Or check www.coneyislandcarlo.com for availability. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Locky? That's right, Alan. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. 
Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, FormulaAutoWash.com. Okay, everybody, welcome back. And just before we took a break, Karen asked a f great question about Alaskan king crab legs, right? Well, you know, the reason why I asked that is yeah. because it is actually one of my favorite things to eat in well. this world. And, and it's very hard to get them here in New York, number one, and in restaurants. You have to and, go to Alaska. And that they're fresh, <laughs> like they, they actually taste fresh. Because we know that they can't road trip. be, correct? Exactly. And, and how does that work? Well, what happens is uh, the boats... Massive boats. They're huge. They just go out to the, the Bering Straits and the Bering Straits in uh, like close, like the borderline of waterline between Alaska and Russia. Oh, yeah, um, Russia. That's that's where actually most of them are. And they actually process them right on the boat. Mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. caught and processed. Right. Right that's on like the boat. deadliest catch. So you ever watch that show? Mm -hmm. No, you know. My, yes, yeah, it's yeah. incredible. That show. And what they do yeah. is right on the boat. Uh, and oh, I it's brutal. Use, I, I hate to use the word process because it doesn't sound so you know. Right. But they, they steam them and flash freeze them immediately. Oh. Yeah, because they're so always like, cooked. Exactly. You can't, you're not raw exactly. ever. Yeah. Right there. So it's, it's, it's about as natural as you're going to get. Right. Yeah. Right. And, wow. And, and that's how it works. And what's the best way to, to cook them now? Because you get them frozen and, um, you know, sometimes they're not, are they supposed to be stored properly? How does it, I think they could just be cooked and well, out? So, well, they're already cooked. So right. if you thaw them out, you can eat them like a session cocktail. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you can finish them uh, any way you like, really. Lemon butter, oil, some uh, garlic, very little garlic. But White steaming wine. them is the best? Is that? Well, they, they were already steamed. Okay, and, and but how do you get them hot? You can steam them again. Okay. Or you can saute them. Uh -huh. Or you can do like a, just a very slow, what they call parlay, slow, slow braise. Get the marinara. Mm -hmm. Oh, that must be delicious. I've oh, never wow. had the marinara. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's like a lobster fra diablo right. sort of. But yeah. Yeah. But thaw them out. Mm -hmm. Thaw them out a day before. Leave them in your cooler, like a Tupperware. Yeah. Leave yes. And then there. just put them in the warm sauce, and they'll warm up and you're done. naturally. Yeah. Oh, that's yum. what you should do. That's what you should do. That. Is heat up either the the. Listen to me with the chef here. Yeah. Garlic. Oh, I would me. do garlic, I think butter, I listen to what he olive oil, a little fresh uh, <laughs> uh, parsley, and I would heat that up, and then I would put them in there, and that would no. heat it up. Okay. Am I correct, right. Chef? Absolutely. Chef, well, I want to I'm going to have you send me the recipe. No problem. Okay. 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 Oh, she's no. on me like white on rice today. Well, you know, we have a chef here. I'm going to listen to you. Right, but we're sit we come from the but same you know, people. But, but you know what I love? But you know what I love? When Simple. That, that too. And I've men that do it now. It's a lot more now. The men, they want to cook for their wife. Mm -hmm. They want to cook for their girlfriend. They want to do something different. They do. Yeah. Really? And, and I love it Who's because it, it's they, nice. They, that's the reality. Here's of it. my problem with that. Okay. Whenever my husband has ever cooked anything <laughs> for me, I mean anything. It could be you know a sandwich to a full course meal. Yeah. It's every bite you take. Isn't it the best you ever had? It's the best you ever had, right? Because it's delicious. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? But what happens? And you can't you, even get through the meal. But what happens when you put on <laughs> you know, so and bad. you ask your husband, "Well, how do I look?" Yeah, right. You know, you want you want to look at a human dartboard, or do you want to have a beautiful evening? Say, right. hey, that looks beautiful. Oh yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. But he, yes, and and I do say it's delicious. No, no, really. But isn't it the best? Yeah, it's it's really the best. No, but like, have you, you ever had something like it before? You drink a lot. Never wine? had it. <laughs> yeah, she needs to drink it. Pour me a glass. Pour me a glass. Well, you know what? Or what you need to do is now I hear that there's some good things going on at yes. your. What's going on this well, week? Because you guys have a lot. You have the Body English on Tuesday nights, yes. which is fabulous, it's by the way. Chateaubriand. That's a lot of fun. It That's is. Fun. Have you gone down the there summer. lately? Yes, and it's only it's for the pure? summer, so you're yes. very limited. You know, it starts in June and it ends uh, end of August, so you you need to get down there at least one and Tuesday night really, during the summer. And it's really. I mean, you have no idea where you are. It's pe just like we're here in the Bahamas yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. And it's pouring outside. It's, well, you but know, that's funny because Richie Bedrosian told me it never rains at Body English Tuesday, which is fabulous. He says, no matter what, 
it's always sunny there. Mm -hmm. So, because um, you have all those awnings and you have all the, the areas, um, you even have that inside area. So, oh, it's, it's always gorgeous. perfect weather. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Body English yeah. And great this people. This is their sixth year doing it. Yeah. So it's, great uh, people. Well, I could see why. Really well. You know, I mean, there's a lot of beautiful people. And then, yeah. so what else is Well, going so on? at Fox Hollow, you know, that's the sister property of Chateaubriand, um, at the Volpe restaurant, we How have... How do they come up with the name Volpe, Bob? Well, it's Fox. It's Fox oh, and Italian. Right. Okay, Fox and Italian. That's so, right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I knew that. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so everybody knows. So Monday nights, we have jazz in the lounge. So we get a nice group of people who come in for that. Oh, I love uh, wine. Tuesday music. nights, we have uh, wine down. So it's 50% off bottles of wine. Oh, we're... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday nights, Wednesday. we have uh, lobster. <laughs> so if you'd like lobster, mm -hmm. we have um, fresh lobsters. One is it? One and a quarter pounds to two pound lobsters. Exactly. Delicious. It's a prefix menu. Like. Any we, way you like. Steam, really? Boiled, fried Diablo. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's in addition to the oh. other menu. We just we do that, you know, as our special. It's like Wednesday a night. That's yeah, right after that, our yeah. show. We'll have to come there down. You go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. And then, well, uh, Wednesday's wine night. Thursday's lobster night. Yeah, Tuesday night's no. wine night. Wednesday Tuesday. night's. Oh, yeah. oh tonight. See, she's not listening. Okay. She heard wine. She got crazy. Wednesday's the lobster. And then tonight. I'm sorry. Tomorrow night, Thursday, which is. We're doing for the first time, it's our uh, grand opening of our, we're calling them Throwback Thursdays. Oh. So it's from 4 to 7, and we're going to be doing um, half price drinks and the $6 bar menu and some live music. So $6 bar menu? Yeah. That's and, oh, and, that's and that's amazing. That's Chef's amazing, Antonio's yeah. food mm -hmm. right there? Where it wow. is. So you have to yeah. get in and then stay for dinner. Wow. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Well, that's so. great. It's one. It's great that you also have so many things going on, so people can come in and try it yeah. and not feel intimidated to see what the restaurant is about. And you know, because yeah. some people think, well, it's, it's in not. a catering facility, so it's tricky for us. Correct. You know, we're not freestanding in a strip mall or you know, a standalone somewhere. Right. Um, so people say, wow, you know, it's in Fox Hollow, but once you get into the restaurant, yes, then it's, you see it's totally. Oh different. yeah, you're in your own. But it's a great space way to get people to gorgeous. come in and hearing like. Music on Long Island, uh, live music on Long Island is such a great draw. Yeah. And then the drink specials. I mean, who, who doesn't oh, like yeah. drink specials? This well, one drinks a lot, so we have to... Uh, <laughs> Volpe, Volpe. Sorry, we embrace <laughs> it. Oh, I, I, I don't want to comment, but... Yeah, don't. Oh, no, yes, do, do. No, because you don't. No, you don't. But you know what? You know what Help me out here. here. She's killing no, me but, today. No, but... It, it is. I need to. No, but, but it's... it's for, once you get to know you... Yes. You're bubbly, energetic. Just, Thank you. No, it's a joke. Just like Cameron. But if they, if they don't know you, say, you know what? That lady's bombed. Yeah. You no. Know what? You, you, I'm you, like this at 10 o'clock at night, 10 I mean, o'clock I mean, in the morning. Yeah. Just Wait. Do it. Could I just say this? Okay, not for nothing. She was bombed that night. That night we came to see you, she was bombed. Oh, yeah. Volpe was She little. was bombed. She left her shoes at my house. Hello. Yeah, left the shoes. How do you leave? How do you walk out of the house without shoes? With the piano player? Right? A little bit. But I would have done that anyway. But that's like, what that's I what I'm saying. That's my personality. No, I would have done it anyway. I probably would have she remembered it away. clearly. <laughs> every drop of wine that but, you put out. Because you kept putting out oh, glasses of wine amazing. with each dish. Thank you. Amazing. She's like, this is better than the last one. Well, this he coordinated out at each, each course. Um, course had its own specialty wine, wine that yeah. he picked out. So I was not going to not have and it. And you did not not have no, it. No, I was not. You, I had it, but, I, you know, a little sip here, a little sip oh. there. But Karen, this is the pot but, but calling no, the kettle black. But, but Karen's glass was 20 ounces. She was, was 10. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just sit You got it. But, you know that, but that, Volpe will do that to you. Yes. Oh, it gets you, you get carried away. To you because you it's just away. a comfortable, relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. It is. It's a it and I had no concept of the time. Yeah. We were there. We were there it was hours. just great. Your staff was like, uh, we need to go home. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I was thinking. They were thinking. No, I think they, they were having because the they were place. taking pictures of us. Oh, they were having the best time. The place, these poor yes, guys. We well, that we definitely did. Uh, we definitely did. Well, well I mean, this has been a really exciting evening. Is yes. there anything else you think, you know, our audience needs to know? How do they find you guys? They go to um, a website, a specific well, website? Well, each uh, facility has their own website, but if you want to learn about the Scotto Brothers, just go to scottobrothers.com, and each property has the representation on that site as well. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like a portal to get you out to the rest. So that's the best. Go to scottobrothers.com, and you'll learn all about the history of the family and uh, what we're doing and all uh, the different family places. recipes we have on there. Oh, so you do, right? We, we do. didn't even get into that. See, yeah, we have. We to need do more that. time with uh, people. Yes. We just start talking, and then we, but we need a vacation. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Sign me up. I know where we're gonna stay. <laughs> Alois. Alois. Yeah, that's yes. where we're gonna stay. One hundred percent. Well, Alois Vineyards. I love it. Amazing. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait till wait till Massimo sees this. He's gonna die. Also, I, I just want to let yes. you know. Um, 
Chef Antonio has a wonderful recipe that he put up just for you guys on our website, Shake It Up with Yeah, Karen we appreciate Regina. that. Com. Thank My you. Pleasure. Thank you. Um, go to Guests and Links, and you'll see his picture there along with um, a wonderful Bronzino recipe yes. that you put together with, I think it's a beautiful um, fennel and... Um, with fennel, farro, citrus. Fennel and yes. farro, yes, yes. So I'm excited to cook that. Um, what is the fish we had that night? night? And have it. What was the fish we that had? Was, that was the fennel. Um, I'm sorry, that was the Bronzino. Served warm though. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. It was yeah. incredible. With, with farro, is actually very healthy. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, you know, we're great. all about health, Regina yes. and I. Yes, we just did a true. whole event last night um, about health. We had a tremendous following, um, and all of the events that Regina and I go to are always on our website. Um, Volpe, of course, um, the information is there, and we are out of time already. We're out of time. I can't believe how fast this hour went. Thank you Thank so you much. For Thank us. you. Thank, Thank you for being here It was here a pleasure. Today. It's, it's so always nice. great to see you. Yeah, and, and, and of course, we're going to see each other again at another Body English World. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you next week. Don't forget Wednesdays, Thank 10 a.m. Love you.